going on everybody? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PWAG All Square Snow Tire Chains on our 2020 Chevy Silverado. We are going to have a ladder pattern style chain and it's all going to be made of a manganese nickel alloy steel and it is going to be a case hardened steel so it is treated. It is going to resist against rust and corrosion but also it is going to be wearing away relatively evenly because all of these square links are all the same size, about 5.6 millimeters. And this is gonna be a little bit more aggressive chain compared to some of the more S-Class compatible low profile chains. But we have plenty of wheel well clearance in the Silverado, so we're not gonna have any issues hitting anything on the inside here. But it's definitely gonna give us maximum traction compared to all the lower profile chains. The ones that'll probably be a little bit more aggressive than these is probably gonna be the V-bar style, but those are only for the really, really tough conditions that you guys may be in. But these honestly would probably still get you out of those tough conditions. What I really like about it is just the cam tensioners, just because we have a lot of different places to adjust to make sure we get a nice and tight fitment. We're gonna have three up here in the front, and then we also have multiple links in the back and in the front to pick from to get that best fitment. So we will be able to get a nice and tight fit with these chains. So I don't think they're going to rotate on your wheel or come loose or anything like that. They do come in a pair of two. Both of them fit in this bag. It's a relatively large canvas bag. And when it comes to the canvas bags, these are the thickest and most durable. So. I usually like the cases that have a zipper on it and they're a little bit harder, but if I were to pick a canvas bag, this is the one I would pick just because it's super thick and I don't think we're gonna have any rips or anything like that. So for your two wheel application, you can just go ahead and grab one set of these chains, but if you guys plan on putting them all four, since we got a four wheel drive truck, just go ahead and grab two of these same exact chains. One thing, that we haven't gone over is just how to install them. Not that difficult. We do recommend that you guys do it first before you guys get into the situation where you're gonna need them. But let's just go ahead and show you guys how. First things first, just lay out your chains. Make sure there's no kinks in your links or anything like that, no tangles. Uh, the other thing we need to figure out is just these ends here. This is gonna be the open side of the hook. That's gonna be a little bit more damaging to our tire. So that's why this side it's a lot smoother and that's the side we want to face in towards our tire. So once we figure that out, just go ahead and grab your chains in the middle the best you can like this and then drape them over your tire. We want to do our best to keep it nice and even both right and left and then of course just get it nice and centered on the meat of the tire. And once we do that, we can go ahead and go around back and make our first connection. So on one side, we're gonna have some spare links right here. And then on the other, we're gonna have a hook. So I do suggest you guys do this in your guys' garage before we're gonna actually need to use these just because you guys will find the best links for your guys' application. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the second from the end here. And I'm gonna go around front and make another connection. Now we can go ahead and link one up. And I'm just gonna go with the second to the first right here. And now what we can go ahead and do is there's gonna be a tool in your kit and it's gonna look like this. So this is gonna be the tool that we're gonna use to tighten up one of our three tensioners. So I'm usually gonna start with one that's more centered like this one. And all you gotta do is just kind of twist them Until they tighten up. And one more. Still a little bit of loosey goosey going on, but we do recommend that you guys have a rubber tensioner. These don't come with the kit, but if you guys just scroll down on that webpage, it should be in the related parts section of the webpage you guys are on. So just go ahead and grab that as well. And all we really need to do is just make sure that this hook is gonna be facing the outside of our tire. 
and of course we want to be as symmetrical as we can when hooking these up just to kind of evenly distribute all of that pressure that the tensioner is going to be under. And once we get that all ready to go, we do recommend that you guys come out, go back in, roll over them a couple times, come back out and check, make sure everything's nice and tight. And if it is, we're pretty much ready to go. Well, that pretty much does it for a look at the PWAG All Square Snow Tire Chains on our 2020 Chevy Silverado.